Welcome back to my channel, sports fans. Okay, let's get into this one right here. Today, we want to talk about, I want to piggyback off of sports and fitness rants. And what he was talking about today made a great video talking about the LeBron fans always make excuses for LeBron, why he lost. Talking about the age difference. And then when he wins, it'll be an age difference. So, on the flip side, they will use that same argument only against Michael Jordan. Saying that his competition was old. His competition was young. That's why he won. Well, we're not here to argue about age because I think sports and fitness runs pretty much cover that. But to me, like I posted on this channel... If the Bulls beat older teams like the Lakers in the 91 finals, guess what? You're supposed to show your experience in winning, right? When they play the Sonics, what did the Bulls do? They showed their experience in winning. It's not our fault that the Lakers didn't do the same in 91. When they played... Utah, these guys were pretty much the same age. The Utah Jazz against the Chicago Bulls. The difference was in the NBA Finals. Well, let's just say the first three P. Michael Jordan held his players accountable. The Scottie Pippins, the Horace Grants, to raise their level of play in those three P's. And he just didn't hold them accountable because he was some kind of coach. He led with his play on the court. Right? We all know Michael Jordan maybe had the greatest three-peat performances of all time. The first three finals. The greatest of all time. Where he went against the Lakers and he averaged 31 points per game. 11 assists. 84 from the line, 50%, three-point percentage, and shot 50% from the field. And beat the Lakers 4-1. The second three-peat. Michael Jordan had more experienced players on that team. But guess what? He held them accountable for their experience. To play like experienced guys. And he led the way with his play. LeBron James. This is what he does. He plays off of athleticism. Not fundamentals. They don't practice. He plays off of fundamentals. So when he played teams like the Mavs. The Spurs and the Warriors, how athletic were those teams? Well, they're in the NBA. They're athletic, but they weren't crazy athletic. They beat LeBron and his team based off of fundamentals, X's and O's. Guess what? A LeBron James team doesn't practice fundamentals and X's and O's. They go and they want to beat you off of athleticism they don't want lebron doesn't want a balanced team he wants shooters offensive players to make up for his shortcomings and i would say average to below average defensive players i will give way the nod for only being the only defensive player on his team so here's what i'm talking about the first six finals that LeBron played and Michael Jordan played. Michael Jordan, 31 points per game, six rebounds, 11 assists, 2.8 steals, 1.4 blocks. Incredible. 55% um, from the field, 50% from the three, and 84% from the line. LeBron James, in his first, <clears throat> his first finals, 22 points, seven rebounds, six assists, 
One steal, 0.5 blocks. You you telling me you can't average more blocks than Michael Jordan? 35% from the field. 30% from the three. 69% from the line. Let me ask you real quick. Is that somebody who's leading his team? A guy who is melting down in front of his team? Look at Tom Brady. I wouldn't say he's the most gifted thrower of all time. And he didn't have the best teams as far as wide receivers and running backs. But guess what? This man will get the job done. And those players, I won't call them. The defense was, the defense was good, great at times. But if you're out there sucking it up, throwing interceptions, you think your team is going to go out on a limb? And get hurt, push around the um, offensive defensive line if the quarterback ain't coming through as the leader of the team. Second NBA Finals, Michael Jordan, 35 points per game, four rebounds, six assists, 1.7 steals, 0.3 blocks, 52% from the field, 42 or 43% from the three, 89% from the line. LeBron James, 17 points, seven rebounds. Six assists, 1.7 steals, 0.8 blocks, 47% from the field, 32% from three, and 60% from the line. He's got the help now. Don't look like a leader to me. Third NBA Finals, Michael Jordan, 41 points per game, four rebounds, 6.5 assists, one, no, my fault, 8.5 rebounds, six assists, 1.7 steals, 0.7 blocks, 50% from the field, 40% from the three, and 69% from the line, which is rare for Michael Jordan from the line. But he got it done in every other area. Looks like a leader to me. LeBron James, 28 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, 2.3 steals, 0.9 blocks, 47% from the field, 18% from three and 82% from the line. This guy's allergic to shooting 50%. This ain't a perimeter guy. This is a guy who's shooting 60% plus of his shots in the paint. This is what we're talking about. And if we need to go on, we can keep going on. There's really need to, no need to go on. Michael Jordan, 6-0 in his six, first six finals, his only finals, and LeBron, 2-4. and four. Let me see something. Okay, we can keep going on. The third finals, 96, Michael Jordan, 27 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 1.7 steals, 0.2 blocks, 41% from the field, 31% from three, and 83% from the line. Yeah. Wasn't his best finals, but he still got to the line and got you those shots. Still played defense at a high level and did bring you 22 points in a series or 17 points in a series like LeBron James. Did his teammates melt down? No. Because that's what LeBron will tell you. Well, LeBron fans. Oh, his teammates didn't come through because that's why he lost. Wade was hurt. Bosch was hurt. Love was hurt. Why? Because they don't practice. Michael Jordan is taking these guys to practice and holding them accountable in practice. That's why they don't get hurt. These are older players in 96. Ron Harper, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen. Um, Dennis Rodman, if I didn't say him, even Kerr was a little bit older. For LeBron, 25 points. This guy still can't crack 30 points per game. Um, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, 2.3 steals, 0.9 blocks, 44% from the field. Even though they won this championship, he, he didn't have a good game. I mean, good series. Um, 35% from three, 
in 79% from the line. And trust me, when we see Michael Jordan over here, 31% from the line versus LeBron, 35%, I mean, from the three, versus LeBron, 35% from the three, Mike wasn't shooting him like that. LeBron was shooting him like that. Five to seven a game. 97 finals. Michael Jordan, 32 points, seven rebounds, six assists, 1.2 steals, 0.8 blocks, 45% from the field, 32% from three, and 76% from the line. LeBron, 28 points. When is this guy going to score 30? Seven rebounds, four assists. So it, his assists just went down. His steals did go up at two. 0.4 blocks. You know, he don't play no defense. Um, 57% from the field. Is this right? Let me see. And I think 51% from the free throw. Let me see. And 79% from three. Finally shoots 50% from the field. A guy who plays like a center. 98, Michael Jordan, 33 points, four rebounds, 2.3 assists, 1.8 steals, 0.7 blocks, 42% from the field, 30% from three, and 81% from the line. LeBron James finally cracks. And when we talk about Michael Jordan shooting 45% or 42, that can be average or good for a guard at 45%. I wouldn't say it's great, but you got to remember, this guy is coming off a three-peat, playing all 82 games, going to game sevens in the playoffs, playing underhand checking, and, and just shooting the hell out of the mid-range. LeBron, 2015, 35 points, 13 rebounds, 8 assists, 1.3 steals, 0.5 blocks, 39% from the field. 31% from three. This guy, if I'm not mistaken, he was shooting like three, uh, seven a game, seven or eight, and 68% from the line. Now, this was a series that Kyrie went out in the first game. They took a 2-1 lead, and eventually Love would go out. And the guy ended up shooting 39% because he had to take a lot of shots. Michael Jordan never shot 39%. And there's no reason why a guy shooting 60% or more of his shots in the paint should be shooting 39%. As Equidala shut him down in one finals MVP. Could you imagine? Two role players, Tony Parker and Iggy, winning finals MVPs on Michael Jordan's watch? What? Ah! That will be talked about at nauseum. Nauseum. So let's move on. Finals career clutch stats. Okay. Championships. Michael Jordan 6, LeBron 4. Finals MVPs. Michael Jordan 6, LeBron 4. Losses. Michael Jordan, zero, LeBron, six. Sweeps, Jordan, zero, LeBron, two. Points per game, Michael Jordan, 33, LeBron, 28. Assist, Michael Jordan, ball hog. Jordan, six, LeBron, seven. Rebounds, Michael Jordan, six, LeBron, 10. Uh, steals per game, Michael Jordan, 1.8, LeBron, 1.7. Blocks, LeBron 0.8, Michael Jordan 0.7. That, that's kind of sad. That's all you could average more than a guard? Turnovers per game, Michael Jordan 2.8, LeBron damn near 4, 3.9. Field goal percentage, Michael Jordan 48, LeBron 48. Huh? What? Nobody wants to talk about that. Because they've been, <laughs> you fools been told that LeBron is some kind of shooter. LeBron shoots 60% or more of his shots in the paint. Michael Jordan, the opposite. Three-point percentage. Michael Jordan, 36. LeBron, 35. Did you hear that? Mm. Free throw percentage. Michael Jordan, 80. LeBron, 73. A lot of points left out on the 
court for LeBron James. Meltdowns. LeBron, two. I would say three. 2007, 2011, and I would say 2015. I don't care because your guys got hurt. That don't mean you have to shoot horrible from the free throw line, the three-point line, and overall field goal percentage of 39. There's no reason. Michael Jordan faced super teams <laughs> from 85 in the playoffs all the way until 91 and wasn't melting down. It's no excuse. 30-point games. Michael Jordan, 17. LeBron, 13. And this is overall finals. Not six, overall. And I know where they're going to start crying. Man, you only put six finals on there, man. It was over after six. The gold debate was over after six pretty much to me. Because we're giving LeBron 10 finals. So if he couldn't measure up to Michael Jordan in six, it was over. Um, lost with super teams. Michael Jordan, zero. LeBron, five. I don't care. He plays super teams. He has super teams. 50-point games. Michael Jordan, two. LeBron, one. 40-point games. Michael Jordan, five. LeBron, seven. So you won't say nothing about that. LeBron has more... 50 point games that's because he played more finals hit game winners michael jordan two lebron zero his teammates two lebron's teammates two game sevens michael jordan zero lebron two not that not to mention in all six finals losses LeBron never seen a game seven. In many of the losses, they were blowouts and he never seen a game five or six. This is your goal. Play versus top 75 players. Jordan seven, LeBron seven. Is that right? Correct me. I might be wrong. That's what I came up with as far as that. Finals record, Michael Jordan 24 and 11. LeBron 22 and 33. There's no way that Le LeBron should have this type of record with 10 finals. And like I said before, all six finals losses were blowouts. And when I say blowouts, you didn't even see a game seven. And some of the game sixes, well, I won't say that. The game four, uh, game fives, they were gentlemen sweeps. Hall of Fame teammates. Michael Jordan, four. <laughs> if you want to count Robert Parrish, LeBron, seven in the NBA Finals. Shot under 30, shot under 40%. Michael Jordan, zero times. It says LeBron, three times. That is wrong. Two times for LeBron James, shooting under 40%. Well, we should have had the stat on here, shot under 50%. Woof. I think that would be five for LeBron. In five finals, LeBron shot under 50%. You guys tell me what you think, man. Where's the excuses right here for his actual play on the court? There's nothing wrong with losing. Jerry West lost. He lost nine finals. Go look at his stats. He was balling out. He wasn't pooping himself. Kevin Durant wasn't pooping himself as far as stats when he was losing in the NBA finals. Just because you lose, that doesn't mean you have to poop your pants and melt down. And that's what the LeBron fans don't realize. You can do other things. Play defense. Shoot a good percentage from the field, from the free throw line. Not take a whole bunch of threes because you don't have a mid-range. Or they blocked off the lane. Go get some post skills. Tell me what you think.